So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games 5 to get 5% discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up YouTube, Dow here from Zephyr War Games, and as requested via the poll yesterday, I am bringing you an update to Elemental Heroes, including the brand new cards of Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier and Elemental Hero Sunriser. Now these are two brand new cards that came out in Legendary Hero, um, no sorry, Legendary Dawnist Magical Heroes. Um, now Sunriser is actually fairly simple and easy to get if you saw our half case opening. Chris got five, I believe, from that or four. Uh, and the Liquid Soldier was a little bit harder to get. He only got one from his half case. Uh, but nonetheless, you only need to play one, so it's not going to be skyrocket prices. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through this profile. At this moment, there are a couple of cards in here that are more nostalgia for me that I want to play, or cards I think are really cool, um, but they can easily be taken out because it is a 45-card deck at this moment in time. So, without further ado, let's get started on the main profile. So, of course, with any good hero deck these days, you do want to be running, uh, unless you're running the Toe version in Marshall 5, Triple Vision Hero Faris. This card is insane. So, so good. So obviously the whole idea behind Faris is you basically get to discard one other hero monster and then special on this card from your hand. And if you do, um, <clears throat> if this card is normal or special on you get to place one Vision Hero from your deck uh, into your spell and trap zone. That then can be increased. Increase will then uh, destroy Faris, summon himself, and an increase will then special sign one from the deck as well. Um... So it's very, very cool to kind of get the place going and get started, and it is a special summon, not a normal summon, which means you can eventually search out this bad boy here, which came back to free. Thank you, Konami. Exactly with the brand new, or the next card that also came back to free. Thank you, Konami. Destiny Hero Malicious. Uh, so you play triple of both of these. Stratus is your searcher and back row popper, mainly your searcher. And then Destiny Hero Malicious is not only used just to get into the grave for an additional hero monster, it is great fodder for the Link 2. <clears throat> as well as decent fodder for the Destiny Hero Fusion play as well. A powerful card if it's used and abused in a Dark Hero deck, but right now it can be used and abused in the right way where it belongs in a Hero deck. Then for the tools, we do play double uh, Vision Hero Increase. We play two in case you open up one. That is the biggest issue. If you open up one, your Faris does become dead, um, which is a big, big issue. Uh, not completely dead, but it does mean that you're going to put a Vision Hero Violent in your spell and track zone, and that doesn't get your combos going. Speaking of which, again, we play double Vision Hero Vion. This could technically be cut to one, and so could increase if you want to run the risk. If you feel that you can bury your cards enough and you're not going to open them to keep your Faris alive, um, then you could cut these down to one. But again, the reason we play this at two is purely because this one can banish the Hero Search out of Poly, which is great. And it's also a Foolish Burial. So this can get your Destiny Hero Militia to the graveyard or your Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. Should you want to, the one that I'd probably consider dropping more is Increase over Vion, um, but still they are required at two at this moment in time. Then we play a lot of one-offs, so we do play the one brand new Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier. This card is awesome, it gives you a turn two play as well, and it has a nice um, effect if it is used as fusion material. So when this card is normal or, uh, sorry, normal summon, so it has to be used in your normal summon, uh, you type one level four or lower hero monster in your graveyard, accept itself, and special summon it. So it can bring back um, Shadow Mist and then trigger Shadow Mist effect. If this card is used for fusion material for a hero monster, you get to send and sent to the graveyard or banished, you can draw two cards, then discard one card. You can only use the effects once per turn. I'm sorry, you can only use one effect uh, once per turn and only once that turn. So you're either going to get the draw and ditch or you're going to get the revival from grave. Non that turn, you can use the draw and ditch because that is where this guy comes in because he search you out your um, Miracle Fusion, which we haven't played for a long, long time. So very, very cool card. One is more than you need because you search it off of Stratos, you search it off of Equal. There's a lot of search capability in this deck. Um, so you do not need to worry about playing it more. Some people do play it too, uh, and it's completely down to personal preference. I think one right now is okay and is fine. Uh, if you did want to bump it up to two, if you can find the space, by all means do so. Then, of course, for the other Elemental Heroes that we play one of, we do play one uh, Elemental Hero, Honest Neos. This is your game winner. This gives your card a boost of 2,500. It allows you to protect your Dark Claw or go for game um, with your Trinity or your other monsters as well. 
We've then got the one uh, elemental hero, Solid Soldier, does pretty much what Liquid does, um, but in a different way. This lets you special summon one from your hand, um, and then if it is used as fusion material, but not banished, it doesn't include the banish effect, which is a bit of a shame. It basically needs to be sent from the monster zone to the graveyard using a spell effect. Uh, you can special summon one monster uh, from your graveyard in defense vision, or an elemental hero from your graveyard in defense vision. So again, can trigger Shadow Mist if you want to. One is more than enough. I've dropped Shadow Mist down to one. Um, uh, purely because I've got Soddy Soldier that can revive it from Grave. It's very rare that I'm actually opening this card to do anything with. I want the special summon effect more than anything, um, but being sent to the graveyard, I can also trigger that effect if I need to as well to search me out another hero. Now, with Liquid around, you can revive it from the graveyard. You're sending it off of Vion. Um, you could play Foolish Barrel in this deck. I don't currently play Foolish Barrel in the deck purely because there's a lot of search power and there's a lot of cards that I already want to send to the deck. It's something I might consider later on. And like I said, there are cards you can go, right, I don't want that there, I don't want that there. Um, so Shadow Mist at 1 is a new change that I've made to the deck. It, it, I think it works right now um, because if I really want the special summon effect, then I'm going to try and search it out. And I'm playing my other cards that I get the special summon effect off of at 1. So it's more going to be used to be sent from the deck to the graveyard to trigger the effect to search me out another piece and then revive at a later point. So very, very important on the way you use that. And then we do play the one evil hero, Adusted Gold. Now I I'm, I would like to apologise, but this card is at $70 or £70 right now in the UK. Crazy money. And the only reason we use this is to discard it uh, and then use it or discard it to search out your one copy of Dark Calling uh, and then use it to fuse in the graveyard with Dark Calling into your malicious bane so it is very important in a deck if you want to play go that way but thankfully with sunriser you can take this out take the bane out take the dark corner out put your deck down to a 42 deck and bump up some of the other cards should you wish it is entirely up to you if you don't have an adusted gold then for the destiny heroes uh we've got the one dynatag the one plasma and the one celestial now again celestial is something that could be cut quite easily um the reason i <laughs> Technically, you're running five Destiny Heroes. Now, you only really want to be sending one Militia, so it means you're playing four Destiny Heroes. You don't want to send your Plasma because you want to search that and then give yourself a basic blanket um, skill drain, which is very, very useful for the deck as well. Which means your other targets you're going to send off your Destiny Hero is going to be Dynatag and your Celestial. Now, Dynatag will trigger your Dystopia, which is very, very good and powerful and important, and Celestial can actually give you a bit of recurrence play. Celestial is the one that you would probably cut more times than not if you want to and cut your Destiny Hero engine down. Um, but you definitely need to be playing at least uh, three Destiny Heroes in my opinion because your um, Mali is going to be used to extend your board, your Plasma is going to use that to negate stuff and your Dynatag is going to be there to trigger off your Dystopia and be your fodder to go into your Destiny Hero extra deck monster. It's very, very important. Um, like I said, 45 card deck at the moment, Celestial is one of those cards you could easily cut if you want to aim to get it to full win. Next up we're playing any free hand tracks you want, I'm playing Ash, Blossom and Joyous Spring, uh, purely because it is the most generic hand track right now and very very powerful and important in the meta. Moving on to the spells, we play Triple Fusion Destiny, this is such a good and powerful card. Um, now obviously you do have a uh, two card combo using this uh, and going into your Destiny Hero Dangerous because that can then start your chain and start your combo going um, for both a first turn play and a second turn play. If going for a second turn play, you go into Dystopia or you go to Dystopia first turn, entirely up to you. Um, my biggest issue right now with heroes is they run head first into Nibiru and they run head first into a Super Poly with very few ways of actually being able to dodge it. So you do actually have to control the board a lot more. The fact that Faris also locks you into heroes does make me feel that when we get back to Master Rule, or we go to Master 5, 4.5, however you want to call it, um, Toad Heroes will probably be the better version purely because it allows you to make other plays. It doesn't lock you into heroes, um, it allows you to be a bit more versatile. Uh, it does mean you don't have to rely on the links, which is great. It means you can build up your fusions a little bit easier, your Dystopia, your Dark Claw, um, your Sunriser if you want to. But the biggest issue right now is because we are restricted via the link zones, um, it doesn't have as much versatility and it can't sit up in a gate. So that's one thing here is a missing and that's something I would have liked to have had um, Sunriser do is purely being able to go, okay, I'm going to negate stuff now. Uh, I'm going to be able to stop and slow my opponent down. So that's something to keep in mind. Very, very important. Something to kind of work with. Um, but... I know, that, that's kind of how you've got to roll with it right now. Um, 
I, it's a powerful card, but that's my one main issue with heroes. Moving on, of course, we've got Triple Mask Change, Anki, Dark Law, um, <clears throat> Anki, Dark Law, and then we do also play in the extra deck, little spoiler, Mask Hero um, Blast, then of course we also play Acid um, to nuke our opponent's back row, which I'll explain when we get there, and that's why we play Triple Mask Change. Triple E, Emergency Call, this is not once per turn, this searches you out any elemental hero in your deck, so that searches you out your Liquid, your Solid, your Stratos, your Shadow Mist, should you need them. So play it at three, it is your searcher. You play Rhoda at one, you've got four searches in your deck. Draw a call by the grave because if you do play your E-Call or if you do play your Stratos or even if you play your Rota or your Hero Lives, you want it to resolve. Um, and then if people start playing Bell as well, you do want your Mag uh, Miracle Fusion to work. So triple call by the grave. Triple Super Poly, uh, less so for disrupting your opponent's cards, more so for building into your cards. Now we've got Sunriser which only requires two hero monsters with different attributes, again, it gets a little bit more consistent. So your super poly targets, again, I'll go through these when we get to the extra day, are Adoration, uh, Sunriser, and Trinity, not to mention Bane, should you actually have the monsters on board to be used for as well. Uh, if you've got the Des Destiny Heroes as well, you can go into Dystopia and Dangerous, and then you've also got Elemental Hero Absolute Zero, which is great to be using on the super poly, because then your opponent's like, ah, oh, can I get rid of that? And then you go... No, don't worry. I'll get rid of it. I'm going to mass change it into acid. I'm going to nuke your back row and I'm going to nuke your front row. Complete board wipe for your opponent. Then for the one-offs, we do play the one polarization. Always remember to search for Vion. So many hero players, including myself, have forgotten to banish to search this. Very rookie mistake, so remember to do so. Uh, the one rota, because everything is level 4 heroes or level 4 warriors below. Uh, not to mention the Destiny hero is a little bit higher, but it doesn't matter. This is because search out your Dusty Gold, your Stratos, your Shadow Mist, your Liquid. Uh, and your solid, so if you want more search capability, you have to play Rota. Uh, the one Dark Calling, of course, like I said, this is another Banished Fusion card. Mainly you're going into your Malicious Bane, it's the only real target you're going for that. The one Hero Lives, because it is at one special on any Elemental Hero monster from your deck. And finally, we play the one Miracle Fusion. Now, Miracle Fusion has two targets in the extra deck, um, but ideally you're going to be searching off a Sunriser, so it does become one, and it will be your Absolute Zero, and it's still very, very good to get Absolute Zero on the board. So you fusion summon one elemental hero fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your field or your graveyard. So it gives you a couple of plays to move forward with as well. It's a shame that you've only really got uh, two main targets for this in this current build, but it's still very, very powerful, very, very useful. Uh, and you've got a lot of ways of going into your absolute zero, which is another form of win con for the deck. So that is it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck. Uh, of course, we do play the brand new Elemental Hero Sunrise. I keep calling it Sunriser, it's called Sunrise. Um, so, it requires two hero monsters with different attributes, must be fusion signed. Monsters you control gain 200 attack for each different attribute you control. Only use each of the following effects once per turn. If this card is special signed, you add one Miracle Fusion from your deck to your hand. Nice! Straight away in the Master of 5, you're going to end up with a Sunrise and you're also going to end up with an Absolute Zero. When an attack is declared involving another hero monster you control, you can tie it one card and field, destroy it. Nice. So it's a shame it's a, it's a target and a destroy, but that's just the way it works. We've then got the double masked uh, hero Dark Law. Uh, this can be cut to one if you wish, but this is your like Dark Law is one of the best hero cards ever made. So so good. Being able to rip from your opponent's hand and keep them under the banish zone as well, it can really, really cause them issues. Uh, the issue you have is it does again run headfirst into Super Poly right now. We've then got the one Adoration. Now the reason I'm playing the Adoration is purely because it requires two hero monsters. So Sunrise is of course very very good, but Adoration can actually give you a nice little boost should you need it and is a little bit more generic just in case you have two heroes with the same attribute. Now very very rare it's going to happen, but if you want to this can become a second Sunrise. Uh, or a second The Link 2, which I'll get to in a minute. The one Anki to push the mask change uh, game. The one Vision Hero Trinity. And then, of course, you've got the one uh, Evil Hero Malicious Bane for your game pusher. The other Master Hero is your Master Hero Blast, just because you can turn it into it off of Stratos. Uh, you've then, of course, got your Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. Like I've explained quite a few times out of this profile, very, very important and very, very powerful card. Uh, and then that triggers off into Acid. So you would Miracle Fusion into this and then Marsh Change this into this, nuking your opponent's back row and nuking your opponent's front row. Very, very cool. Very, very powerful. Such a cool combo with these two. Uh, and then for the final two fusions, we do play the one Destiny Hero Dystopia for a bit more interruption, and the Destiny Hero Dangerous for your combo starter, should you open up with the spell and depend on what route you want to go with. 
Onto the Link Monsters, we do play the one extra hero Cross Crusader. This can be two, should you wish. You just have to uh, bump out one of the Dark Claws or one of the other cards as well. The one extra hero Wonder Driver, and finally the one extra hero Dread Decimator. Now, these aren't the best Link Monsters. This is probably the best Link Monster of the three. It's a shame that they don't have a hero that provides a negate, um, but the best thing with Wonder Driver, it's got more targets to bring back and set when a, a hero monster is special onto a zone it points to. Um, very, very cool cards. It's a shame that they don't offer a bit more. Like This just offers nice little attack boost, which is great, and the free Link Zones, um, but you kind of want something that can say, if you control another face-up hero, uh, negate one card on the field, or negate one effect your opponent has, something like that. Now, obviously, that's a little bit OP, that's just off of the top of my head, but you kind of need, or heroes need something like that. If they're locking themselves into heroes with Vision Hero, Faris, um, if Konami want you to continue playing pure heroes and not go towards Toad Heroes in Master of Five, doubt it, um, they need to be able to bring something like that in, otherwise these heroes will start to become, not obsolete, but less and less used, because I personally feel that the Toad version, because it can set up negates, will be a lot better going against stuff like Super Poly because you're going to end on less than one Dark or one Dark and less so they can't Super Poly you and of course Toad to stop plays for Nibiru as well. Anyway, that is it for the profile. I hope you like this. I hope it gave you uh, a couple of ideas on your own build. I really, really like the new additions even though they're not like flooding the deck and they're not like three of, six of, uh, six of, <laughs> three of, two of um, in the deck. One of is more than enough for the deck and it actually does its job well. Um, and can really, really cause your opponent a lot of issues. Liquid is a nice addition to the deck. If you want to play it too, by all means, you can do so. Sunrise, or Sunriser, like I keep calling it, uh, again, is very, very good, very, very powerful, and very, very useful in the deck as well. So, uh, I hope you like this. I hope you gave you a couple of ideas on your own build. By all means, uh, any suggestions to cut this down to a 50 card, uh, 50 card deck, 40 card deck, um, then please let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to give you any answers if you have any questions to any of this as well. Uh, and we can go from there. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And as always, guys, happy dueling.